We welcome you to Larry Bird's house, the Holman Center in Terre Haute, Indiana, the home of the Indiana State Sycamores, hosting the Bradley Braves this afternoon in the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. What a matchup, what a day. Glad we're inside. A little snowy and rainy outside. Let's check our Missouri Valley Conference standings. A presentation of Zervita. I'm Tom Ackerman along with Rich Zavosik. Z, what do you see here? Drake at the top. Well, two teams in Indiana State and Bradley trying to stay in striking distance in the top three, but trending in opposite directions. Indiana State has won four in a row, five of their last six, while Bradley started three and one, but has lost their last four and are desperate for a win here this afternoon. And they have one of the best players in the league, so tough to guard, Elijah Childs. He is having a monster senior season coming off a 27-point performance against Valparaiso. He is third in the conference in scoring, second in rebounding, and he is the top shot blocker in the Missouri Valley. You know who else does it all? Indiana State's Jake LaRavia. What a player they have. And he loves to play against Bradley. Had an outstanding two-game series against them last year. You see his numbers. Also had 20 points, 10 rebounds in their win last year here in Terre Haute and is coming off a terrific performance against Southern Illinois. 20 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. It's a red-hot Indiana State team against a desperate team. Bradley, back-to-back -back Arch Madness champions here at Indiana State. Tip-off is right around the corner. Did you hear that? Stay Farm thing. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think we're in a commercial. Jake from State Farm, I knew it. Don't worry, Chris. Things are going to go surprisingly great. Yeah, look! You <laughs> see? Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. I, I didn't even record. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At Drury Hotels, we know life on the road can be hard, but we're here to make the journey easier. With over 150 locations, our friendly team members and generous free amenities like Wi-Fi, hot breakfast, 5.30 kickback featuring hot food and cold beverages help brighten your day and make your time away from home easy, allowing you to travel happy. Looking for more energy, better focus and productivity? Time for Zeal by Zervita. Check it out. 55 whole food nutrients. Check. Natural clean ingredients. Check. Clinically tested and proven safe and effective. Check. I like Zeal because it keeps me locked in, it keeps me focused, and gives me a boost of energy. And uh, I just like the tasting of it. Take control of your health and happiness. Feel the Zeal today, only with Zervita. The State Farm MVC Men's Basketball Championship is back in the Gateway City this March. It begins here as 10 Valley teams battle it out to advance to the big dance. The 2021 edition of Arch Madness tips off March 4th through 7th at Enterprise Center in downtown St. Louis, presented by Fox Sports Midwest. Visit archmadness.com or download the Arch Madness app. Since 1907, the Valley runs deep. The Missouri Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. When you want a real deal like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Zervita. By Prairie Farms. Locally owned, locally produced since 1938. And by Mercy. Your life is our life's work. Welcome back to Indiana State. Terre Haute, Indiana, inside the Holman Center, renovated recently. Holman Center looks nice inside with Rich Zavosik. I'm Tom Ackerman, and it is Bradley at Indiana State. We are set to go. It is a nice afternoon and a great battle between these two teams. And today's starting line is for a presentation of Prairie Farms. Dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk. Danny King's very quick guard for Bradley, along with Terry Nolan Jr., East 
makes it a three-guard offense, Elijah Childs. We talked about him opening this broadcast along with Mask at Ford. And for Indiana State, all of these players can make things happen and run the offense. But Julian Larry is going to be asked to do a lot as the freshman point guard. LaRavia, Nice, the scorer. Key can also score. And Trey Williams inside. Let's take a look at our keys to the game made possible by Grinnell Mutual. Trust in tomorrow. Talk to a Grinnell Mutual agent today. For Bradley, it is limit turnovers. In their losses, they're averaging almost 16 turnovers a game and their wins only 10. And then locate shooters. Indiana State puts four guys around Trey Williams. Trey Williams has hit a couple of threes as well, so they got to find guys, get a hand in their face. Indiana State, offensive discipline. Don't take bad shots. And then secondly, no easy shots for Bradley. Bradley, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the conference, averaging almost 12 offensive rebounds per game. You see the home white uniforms for Indiana State. And for Bradley, back-to-back -back Arch Madness champions, desperate for a win here. They've lost four in a row, and they excruciate. I mean, they had both of their last two opponents on the ropes and lost. They lose a tough one on Thursday at Valparaiso in double overtime. So off we go, and Bradley wins the tip. Controlling it is Mast, and he gets it to the guard east. And off we go for Bradley and Indiana State. Indiana State starts man-to-man. -man. Keep an eye on how they play Childs in the post. Kingsby with that quickness. Indiana State guarding him tightly. As we follow Childs, the double team comes over. He gets rid of it cross court. Terrific rotation out of the double team. And out of bounds, Indiana State basketball on the bench up and roaring for Indiana State. That's how we start with the Sycamores on a terrific defensive stop. Indiana State has always been a very solid offensive team under Greg Lansing. This year's defensive team is much better than in the past. They showed it on that first possession. He tries to flip it right wing, and that one is missed, but right there to grab the rebound is Laravia. Get used to that. He's always around the basketball. Trying to find an open shot. Do they get one from Key? No. And here comes Bradley back the other way. The swarming defense on the first trip down the floor for Indiana State, but this time inside is best for the bucket. An early 2-0 lead for the Bradley Braves. Indiana State's played very well on this floor and otherwise. He took a quick look. Talk about great defense. That's what Bradley's known for. Mostly man-to-man, -man, but they will play zone. Direct reflection of their team, or excuse me, of their head coach, Ray hard nose. Trying to back down Mass, and coming up short on the shot is Laravia, but a foul is called. Let's take a look at the Bradley Braves. And Elijah Childs is going to recognize the double coming. Soon as he comes, turns away from it. Mast makes himself an available receiver. Very important that Mast, who scored early in non-conference, gets off to a good start here this afternoon. Free throw goes down. Got ourselves a 2-1 ball game in the early going. Valley play here at Indiana State. And so, Bradley dodges a little bit there. Up the floor is East. Finding Kingsby. Three ball missed and back the other way for Indiana State. We'll see what Julian Larry can do. They do like him a lot. Some teams have been backing off on him and just letting him shoot it. Not respecting his offense as the travel is called inside on Trey Williams. Ryan Wardle will see what he has planned for this game. One of the best coaches in the league. Back-to-back -back NCAA tournament berth. Sixth season as the Bradley head coach. And he has built this program just as he said he would set out to do. The master architect. Broke it all the way down, built, rebuilt it, and his 
Reflection, tough, hard nose, rebounding defense. Trying to save it for Indiana State, and it's going to stay Bradley basketball. And then there's Greg Lansing. We talk about a coach who has been through the battles from the state of Iowa, came over to Indiana State. All he's done is win. Racked up 166 wins here in 11 seasons at Indiana State. Seven wins away from becoming the all-time winningest coach here at Indiana State. Kingsby lost the handle. It's going to be Indiana State ball. So, so far, Indiana State's come up empty from the floor, 0 for 2, and 1 for 2 for Bradley. As I was mentioning, a number of these Indiana State players can distribute the basketball. It won't be all on Larry, the point guard. It's not how Indiana State's set up. And Larry just needs to be a good manager here this afternoon. Drive there and foul is called. And that's really, Z, what he wants to do and what they want him to do. He's an aggressive defensive player. They want him to be aggressive offensively. And the key for him is he's got to pick his spots. And you think about Drake's success this year and how well the senior Roman Penn has done. Larry, just a freshman, has to understand is he's got four very good scorers around him. That's going to give him an opportunity to drive just like that possession. Larry knocks down the free throw. Tobias Howard, the graduate student, the guard from Georgia, is suspended for conduct detrimental to the team. As Larry is the point guard most of the time. Substitution, and here comes Vile Tabanina. He could be deadly from the outside. In the uh, Nate Cannell mode, shall we say? Nate Cannell, we're talking about a streak and score for Metamora, Illinois. The times where Cannell, you just knew it as soon as it left his hand, it was going in. Arabia defending well there, and Indiana State comes up with the basketball at a 3-2 lead. Behind the back for Nice. Now off the screen. They find Nice just inside three. He buries that. He can do that all day. Very good shooter. One of the best high school scorers in the state. And on the other end, the big man. Childs. And Childs with the block on the other side. Holy smokes! Did he get down the floor and made the play? Talk about your five man just running 94 feet back to back. That one's missed though, and Arabia gets it back to Larry. Goodness. He is fun to watch. Went healthy. One of the best players in this league. He's Arabia, strong off the glass. Bradley really trying to push the ball, trying to get some easy looks. And that's a baseline layup, good by East. They scramble back, Graves trying to cover, make sure everybody's taken care of. This Indiana State team will spread the scoring as Williams goes in and gets fouled. Let's look at Elijah Childs. He runs the floor as well as any five man in this country. Scores at one end. And then he's going to make the block on the other. He's got his braids up one. I wish I could wake up and say hi to a giraffe. Ride a train in the sky. And visit far away galaxies. Stay in the magic at a Disney Resort hotel. So close to the parks, you can make all your Disney wishes come true. And now, you can save up to 30% on rooms at select Disney Resort hotels. Imagine the magic of staying here.
wasn't me, baby. No, it wasn't me, baby. Free two hour grocery delivery included with Prime. Bradley with an early lead on Indiana State here in Terre Haute. A little Valley matchup on this Sunday afternoon. Closed captioning for today's telecast made possible by the Candlewood Suites Terre Haute, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference in the Wabash Valley. Call 812-234-3400 or visit candlewoodsuites.com slash Terre Haute to book your hotel rooms on your next trip to the Wabash Valley. And Tom, how about Cooper Nees? Fundamental 101. The ball is swung, close out, beautiful head and shoulder fake. Nice pull-up jumper. That's hundreds of hours spent in Cloverdale High School gym. Just ball fake. Get the defender up in the air. One dribble jump shot. Terrific job by Cooper Nice, who, by the way, is shooting 10% higher than he was a year ago. And it's, as Greg Lansing said, taking better shots, easier shots. You got to love that long two-point shot, don't you? I love the head so shoulder fake. I love the shot fake. Tell the guy to go pick up his sneakers. I buy it. Trey Williams taking care of business at the free throw line. And a tie ball game at Indiana State. 6-6. Six, six. The Bradley Braves masked already with a basket. Jason Kitts is in the ball game for Bradley. This is top of nine, and Indiana State's playing some D. Might have taken a step there. Instead, he turns around and scores. That was terrific D by the Arabia, but even better offense by Tabanine. And this one's tapped out of bounds. Gonna go to Bradley. Turnover to the Braves in a two-point lead. Bradley has Outscored Indiana State in the paint, six to nothing thus far. It's good to see Henry in the game for Bradley. Exciting player, missed a few with concussion protocol. He is that. There he goes inside and no on the drive for Deshaun Henry. Just a ferocious dunker, a really good player. I think back to the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament last year. I mean, obviously, Daryl Brown, the, the diminutive point guard, had an outstanding tournament, kind of played with a chip on his shoulder. Childs, an outstanding tournament. But Henry had the most exciting plays, a couple of blocks, a couple of dunks. Really came into his own. You know, it is an adjustment seeing this team without Daryl Brown. You know, I was going to bring that up earlier, but you want to, Really focus on what the team has now. I mean, there's not much you can do anymore, but Daryl Brown. But that said, he seemed to have been playing for the program for years and years and provided so much scoring and leadership. Well, you're absolutely right. And this team is eerily similar to last year when Childs got hurt. They struggled for a little while. Childs came back, and then they made that tournament run. Henry's back. Boya is going to be back shortly, hopefully. And perhaps we could see that 3 feet. Travel called on the drive. And so it goes back to Bradley. They are feeling good about themselves early. A 10-6 lead. Now, Baycote is going to see some time also. He's going to be quickly off the bench and gonna be asked to handle the basketball. That time, a turnover, first of the game for him. Different look defensively, a little half-court trap. Open three, and missed by Tabanainen. That's what you want. You want a quick shot out of that trap. If they don't make it, you stay in it. Cut off at the baseline. It was key. Shot clock down to 12. Arabia against Henry. There's a shot fake for you, pal. This is, though, on the tip, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to stay here. Last touch by Bradley. 
Seven minutes gone here in the first half. 10-6 Bradley lead. Braves shooting 50% from the floor, just 20% for Indiana State. They're cold out of the game, one for five. We talk so much about Key being a prolific scorer, and he has been a real key, no pun intended, over this winning streak, and it hasn't been because of his scoring. It's been because of his unselfish play and his ability to do other things, whether it's rebounding, whether it's the defensive end, and he hasn't forced the action. He's allowed it to come to him, and that's not an easy thing for a senior who has been such a, a dominant scorer over the first three years. Got a little blood on the right leg of Tyree Key, so they'll pause the action for a moment as the team's training staff, medical staff, will address that. Greg Lansing will take that opportunity to talk to his team. Brian Wardle on the other side. So in typical COVID year fashion, Bradley gets to the hotel last night. They're going to have practice. Well, in about an hour, hour and a half. Well, before that, they are there's a fire in the hotel. Nobody's injured, nothing like that, but they have to be evacuated. And they sat on the bus for two hours, missed their practice time. And Coach Wardle talked about it with me this morning and said, you know, in previous years, I would have lost it. But at this point, tremendous shot by Key, but at this point, you just got to kind of laugh at him. And he talked about it. Fresh bodies, fresh mind, and it's paid dividends early. Absolutely. Well, you got to just brush some things off as they go inside here to Childs. He has to dribble his way out of trouble. And the bounce inside of Henry, faces up, hits the shot. Sean Henry with the big basket. The court presence of Childs knowing to stretch the defense by back dribbling out of the double team. You know, on a conference call with the media last week, Brian Wardle's asked about the Thursday game against Valparaiso. He said, you know, to be honest, we really haven't looked at football all that much. We're trying to figure out ourselves. You know, they're just trying to, there's so many games stacked together. And knowing they had a lot on the table, they were really working on being the best Bradley team they could be. How about that shot from the left wing? And that's a big, big three. I'm certain to get off the shoulders of Cam Baycoat after the turnover. Tie ball game. Other side. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Tom and I can do that. Got to be careful. Leave him open. Become a three-point shooting contest. He'll win a lot of those. He certainly will. Got to make guys like him put the ball on the floor. Here comes a long three. Ooh, almost missed. The opportunity. Indiana State miss. Bradley with a chance. Childs tries to get around the defender. Lost it out of bounds. And it's going to go back the other way. Three ball. Coach Z back and forth between these two. Space the floor. Shoot him up. Sleep it in the streets. As Kevin Lockery used to say for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Braves up three. When you choose Bradley University, you don't have to choose between the activities and resources of a larger university and the personal attention and exceptional learning experiences of a smaller college. With more than 185 undergraduate and graduate programs, small classes taught by engaging faculty in a beautiful 85-acre campus located in the heart of Peoria, Illinois, our side gives you the best of both worlds. Bradley University, mid-size, big difference. It begins here with the 31st chapter of Arch Madness in downtown St. Louis. Stay with your team and watch as 10 Valley schools look to capture the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Conveniently located, there are attractions like the Gateway Arch in Ballpark Village, team properties plus the tournament headquarters and other Arch Madness hotels offer valley rates to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC championship title. Book 
rooms at these properties for Arch Madness. Or for your next trip to St. Louis, call 1-800-916-0041 or visit ExploreStLouis.com. You are beautifully unique, unapologetically academic. You're not afraid to color outside the lines, and neither are we. Imagine yourself here in modern labs designed for 21st century students. Drake is a university with a vibrant capital city right next door, where you get a degree that gets employers' attention. This is Drake University, where you will stand out from day one. Learn more at drake.edu. Back at Indiana State, Bradley with a three-point lead on the Sycamores. Good game back and forth. We just saw the two teams trade threes right before the break. How much scoring will we get here today? We'll find out. Speaking of scoring, look at that man. 1,300 for Elijah Childs. And Tyree Key in this game, right in front of him, Z. Tyree Key does it a lot of different ways. Gets to the rim, three-point stretches out and Elijah Childs talk about a guy who has stretched his game who came into the league as a defensive player more a shot clock but now he scores in the low block capable 17 foot shooter really made his himself a complete player and that's what you see in the Missouri Valley guys who are here for four years and just get better and better each and every year they go to hit a big three before the break Gave that one up in the lane, spinning out of bounds, and it's going to stay at Indiana State. And now back the other way, Miller pleading his case. Well, the question is, that was down on Bradley's end and they changed it. If it was on Indiana State's end, would they have changed it? We got a veteran crew, though. Yeah, I'm not going to indict them with that question. I'll tell you what. Jerry Pollard wouldn't be pushed around. <laughs> I, can, I can speak for him. One of the best. That one rolls in. Bradley builds on the lead. It's now 17-12. Braves getting some points across the board now. Two for Childs, and now another two. East and Mass with two of these. Henry has four top of nine, and that's five. And Indiana State getting the scoring going on their end as well. Draining from the outside to cut the lead to two. Told you we'd get some scoring, partner, didn't I? Let's look at Elijah Childs. Childs is coming off a 27-point performance. Nice job of locking Trey Williams into the paint and then turns away. You can see drove him up the lane. Nice job by Childs on the post-up. Got ourselves a two-point game. Indiana State ball. Miller's still in there. Toss inside. Blocked away. Childs got his hand on it. He is so imposing inside. Henry facing up. Against Nice, likes that matchup, doesn't get the roll. Ah, the twists and turns of a Valley basketball game. There will be many. This is going to be a tight game. You can see it coming. Whistle and foul on the drive. Kingsby. Daniel Kingsby got the start today, the senior from Milwaukee. Miller comes out of the ball game. First foul on Kingsby. Keep an eye on Miller as he goes in and out of this game. He's talked to Coach Lansing before the game. And Miller's been bothered by a sore back. So we'll see how he responds from coming off the bench. On the Bradley side, Ari Boya is not going to play in this game. He's been in a boot this week, so he is out. 7-1 junior. This one's blocked out of bounds. Bradley with some post presence right now. That time, the guard, Terry Nolan Jr. Terry Nolan is a prolific scorer. He's hit some big shots this year for Bradley. 
That does an outstanding job keeping Key in front of him. Ease lets it go as the shot clock expired. Offensive rebound and the putback. Well, that'll make Coach Ward unhappy. Nobody touched him. Well, they don't want that to happen. And Indiana State now in a tie game. Yo, yo. The drive and the score. It's a big one there for Larry. And that's exactly, again, what they want him to do. Be aggressive downhill. Push the ball, push the ball. Pressure the defense. You can just see a player like that getting confidence as we go. Childs with the miss. It's a big putback by Colbert Barnes earlier. You're right about that. Showed Indiana State's right back in there. They'd stick their noses in that post. As the Sycamores have not only even the score, they've taken the lead. Go to the offensive glass. It's a pass to you, Cody Barnes. And Larry to the hole. Jake from State Farm, if you here, this must be a State Farm commercial. Sure is. It also means it's about to go down. Oh, don't worry, Chris. Things are going to go surprisingly great. Oh, I've been doing this for too many years. It, it means something about to go down. Oh, no. Here it comes. Jake, protect yourself. Have a nice day. I told you. Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. Who are you talking to? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There is a difference between an idea and an idea made real. At UE, we rise boldly to the challenge of making a difference and also dream big about solving the problems of today to better our world for tomorrow. We join together, knowing that side by side, we can truly make a difference. It's what makes us change makers. We step in, we stand out, and we reimagine everything. And it all starts here at the University of Evansville. Come change the world with us. Introducing a hotel carefully crafted to leave a vivid imprint in downtown St. Louis. Designed with an effortless sense of style. Experience the luxury of Hotel St. Louis. Hotel St. Louis, exactly like nothing else. At Illinois State University, our legacy is one of preparing students to create, to explore, to lead, to make an impact. Our students graduate on time, find success in their field, and make a difference in the world. That's our legacy. What will yours be? Create your legacy at Illinois State University. Two-point lead for Indiana State at home against Bradley. Just under the eight-minute mark in the first half. These two teams trading leads back and forth. The latest, a 7-0 run for the Sycamores. NBC student-athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing voices for change, is at NBC-sports.com slash One Valley. Bradley coming out of the timeout. Had an early advantage. There's Tom Anainen. He is the sharpshooter leading the way with five points. Leading scorer on the other side is Cooper Neese, also with a three in this game. Tom Anainen has two of them. Indiana one of them. He has two buckets, one three. Indiana State spreading the wealth. Seven of the nine players have scored. Yes, he scored the first basket for Bradley and could not get it inside. Larry distributes to Key. Play in for Indiana State. And Tom, there is no stickiness to the ball for Indiana State. Larry doing an excellent job of kicking it ahead. That one's nearly stolen away. It's going to stay right here. Let's see Indiana State doing exactly what you said. 
Brian Wardle talked about it. Got to be good in transition defense against Indiana State. You don't get back. Larry to Key makes you pay. The lead is four. Kingsby lost it. Wanted a turnover, didn't get it. Instead of this three. And here they go with a four point lead. Not the shot that Brian Wardle wanted. A quick deep three. You're on the road. Every possession counts. He pops one inside to Laravia. Larry, he drives, went off his leg and out of bounds. Bradley basketball down four, 638 mark. Yeah, those are the things that are going to happen when you do drive, right? I mean, he got a little bump there from the defender. No call. He goes out of bounds. In the old days in the NBA, that would have been a force out. But the officials don't want to call a foul, so they just call him out of bounds. Bradley hasn't hit a bucket since the 10-25 mark. That was Childs. And there we go. Tabanainen is absolute money. I think Tabanainen hurt you on that one. So he is a killer from beyond the arc. Didn't take long. And answering on the other side. Dupernice. Indiana State. Holding on to this three-point lead. Under six now in the first half. Arabia wide open, was looking at the basket. Off balance shot won't go. He can't get it to fall. Now a tie up inside. And it's going to stay on this end. Stay tuned for our halftime report a presentation of State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The rebound advantage is just. Jaw dropping, 17 to 5 in favor of Indiana State. And if it doesn't change in the next five minutes and 45 seconds, I'll guarantee you that is going to be a point of emphasis for Brian Wardle in the halftime talk. That really is unbelievable. And both teams are shooting the same 8 of 18 for Bradley, 8 of 19 for Indiana State. Three-point contest. Three ball. Well short. And the Sycamores get another life coming back. Sam and I didn't hit his previous one. Little heat check on that one. Perhaps a little bit deep. Big you got to see what it's interesting. Both these teams try to find the right offense as the foul is called and the key goes down. I mean, this is, did you see this Monday stat? It's just amazing. All 69 points scored by Indiana State came from the starting five. I almost haven't heard of something like that. Not since 2014 did the Sycamores do that. They did it in Carbondale back in January of 2014. They spread it out this afternoon, but a guy like Moravia has got to look at the basketball. He's got to make his defender play him. He's, he's doing a good job of passing, but he's got to look to score as well. Mako didn't have a good angle on his shot. That one was just missed. Missed by East. Now Brian Wardle's just losing his mind over there. He's beside himself. He, he, this is a young team. You, you think, think about what they had last year. Daryl Brown, a four-year starter. Nate Cannell, basically a off-and-on four-year starter. Now all of a sudden you got new guys learning the system. Understand a quick shot in transition that's wide open is different than a quick shot in the half court. They're taking too many quick shots in the half court offense right now. Open three. No, that's going to be off Indiana State. Yeah. He's, he was over there, let's say, giving instruction to Sean East about the last possession. And, and here's the thing. That shot for Sean East is going to be there four passes from now. But what it enables you to do 
is the other guys know when the shot is going up. So if it's missed, you can go get an offensive rebound. I mean, Elijah Charles is going to go every time, but he's got to know when the shot's going up. Be nice to get Childs a touch here. They heard you. Double team, though. Good yeah. feed. Yeah. Out of bounds. Other way. Just couldn't hang on. That was Antonio Thomas. There are some terrific passing five men in this league. Childs. We always talk about front wing at Loyola. Terrific guys that I just give up the ball to an open teammate. It was a good luck there. From the elbow. Brady Barnes starting to make some big buckets here for Indiana State. Barnes with four points now. Top of nine and look out. Oh. And Indiana State dodges one there. Leads by five. Trying to pour it on. He wants it. Barnes, yes. Terrific recognition, Tom. Big time. Big time play. Kobe Barnes with a seven point lead. Indiana State stretching it out on Bradley. Know where the mismatch is. Get it to the wing. And Kobe Barnes gonna deliver back-to-back -back buckets. Blue is engineering technology, aviation, public health, business, and 100 other majors. Blue is a four-year graduation guarantee. Blue is filled with researchers, scholars, explorers, creators. Blue is commended by Forbes and the Princeton Review. Blue is 150 years of sycamores making the world bolder, healthier, greener, wiser, better. Blue is Indiana State University. There's more to blue. A migraine hope from Amavig to show up for the sweet, the hectic, the tender, the tense, and the fiery. But for many, migraine keeps them from saying, I am here. We aim to change that with Amavig, a preventive treatment for migraine in adults. One dose once a month is proven to reduce monthly migraine days, for some, by half or more. Don't take Amavig if you're allergic to it. Allergic reactions like rash or swelling can happen hours to days after use. Severe constipation can happen, sometimes with serious complications. High blood pressure can happen or worsen with Amavig. Common side effects include injection site reactions and constipation. It doesn't matter what each day brings, so long as you can say, I am here. Aim to be there more. Talk to your doctor about Amavig. Back at Indiana State, seven point lead and on a tear right now. 15 3 run over the last 651, Rich Zavosi. And Tom, a lot of that is based on being able to read the defense and reacting. Watch the help side by Mast on Laravia. Barnes reads that Mast isn't looking at him. He flashes to the high post elbow, the open spot, and gets himself a wide open look because Mast is more concerned about helping on Laravia in the low post. Terrific job of recognizing the defense by Kobe Barnes. Kobe Barnes with six points. Leading scorer at Indiana State is Cooper Nice with seven. Vile Tabanainen with eight to pace the Braves. Second chance, that one goes for Henry. Bradley's a much different team with Henry back in the lineup. Cuts the lead down to five. 
Want to let it get away from you if you're Bradley here. Three ball. Or misses. But there to clean up. Guess who? Kobe Barnes with eight points. I'm giving Randy Miller the assist on that. <laughs> it might. Encourage passing. Tough layup inside. The foul is called. As Kinsby went crashing in. Let's go back to Kobe Barnes having a game. He's done a great job of moving without the basketball and going to the offensive glass. This is his second putback. Henry tries to block him out, but instead of standing behind Henry, it's the one-two step to get around him. Nice job by Barnes. Yeah, really good awareness there. Free throw is made by Kingsby. Barnes, the sophomore out of Floyd's Knobs, Indiana. And playing in his home state for the Sycamores. Kingsby, the senior from Milwaukee. Not many guards in the league quicker than him. And he connects on the free throws to cut this lead back to five. Only after a made free throw, changing defense by Bradley, trying to get Indiana State out of their rhythm. Show the zone, 3 2 zone. Barnes, yeah, the no-look pass there into the post, could not deliver. It was intended for Williams, Bradley off and running. Look out, Tavaninen. V-Lay Tavaninen is on fire. Didn't play here last year. He's playing now. Cuts the lead to two. He really stretches that defense. That's a long run to get to him. Kind of warned you when he came into the game. This time, Miller hits the same spot, different result. Randy Miller Jr. with the three. And it's now a five point game again. Childs can't go there, and here's Miller. Collision in the middle of the floor. Offensive foul called against Tyreek Key. Big collision there, but let's look at the Sycamore still up by 5Z. Against the zone, you got to find the elbow. You own the elbow, you win the games. And that's exactly what they have done in the last few possessions. Hitting Barnes in that elbow either gives him an open look or a nice kick out for that three. The heart, the sweet spot against that zone. Barnes with eight points. Career high is 13. It's on his way. Five-point game here in Terre Haute. And now Tavadinen shows. I'm not just a three-point shooter. Broadcaster's up there. I can take it to the rack. Tavadinen scores. He has 13 points in the first half. Laravia. Oh, yes. Jake Laravia. That's what he does. Speed. Two points for Jake. Bradley understands who the hot hand is. They're running things for Tavanine the last couple of possessions. This is Henry. And Childs keeps it alive. So we've reached one minute to go here in the first half. Five-point lead for Indiana State. You see only three fouls committed by the Sycamores. Indiana State's in the bonus. And this ball is going to go back the other way. Defense has just been too much. Well, the scouting report on Tavanine is make him put it on the floor. He's a three-point shooter. If he is capable of doing that on a consistent basis, he's going to be a very tough young man to guard. Tavanine at 13 points in 14 minutes. But Bradley still has some ground to make up. Down by five with under a minute to go. Bradley's staff has done an outstanding job of picking and choosing foreign players. Kevin Ida from Finland and had one of my favorites, Dwayne Lotier Agunle from England a few years ago. Dilo. Dilo is he was called. Miller. Oh. Couldn't get it to fall. The rebound and a foul is called. Good effort inside by Trey Williams. And they're going to get that on Mass. That's number two on Mass. So for Bradley, Mass has two. Nolan has two. 
Trey Williams. Second trip to the line. One for two is first time. He has one point on the day. Darius Hanna comes into the game, the 6'8 freshman. He's got some big freshmen, doesn't he? He's Paul, Lincoln, does. Hanna. Mass is a redshirt freshman. They all go 6'7 to 6'9. Indiana State just doing an unbelievable job on the offensive glass. Nine offensive rebounds in the first half. And this is a team that only averages eight on the game. So their aggressiveness on the glass has paid dividends. Yeah, it really is a stunning rebound disparity. 23 to 9 in favor of Indiana State in this first half. Final seconds ticking away. Can East find it? Short rebound, Indiana State's Laravia. A long heave. And Indiana State goes into the locker room up by five on Bradley. I hate to belabor the point, but we have to. Offensive rebounding has been the difference here in the first half for Indiana State. That's the halftime score. State Farm halftime report is coming up. Indiana State 6-1 and one, with leading at the half this season. We'll see if that holds. Brian Wardle's team came in fighting. Found some long-distance calling from Tom and Iden, But it's been Indiana State so far up by five. I used to be bad with money, but I'm not anymore. I got my money right with SoFi. Thanks, SoFi, for helping, helping us get our money right. Nice work. Welcome back to our halftime report, a presentation of State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tom Ackerman along with Rich Zavosik. Z, let's look at our first half highlights made possible by Hotel St. Louis, where historic meets hip. It was two guys coming off the bench, Tavon Iden for Bradley. 13 points on three of six from the three-point line. Just does a great job of finding the dead spots. Man to man, and then he shows you he's capable of putting the ball on the floor. And then Kobe Barnes coming off the bench. Some big plays going to the offensive glass with a couple of offensive rebounds. Eight points, four for six from the floor. It just does an outstanding job of finding the right spot whether it's man-to-man -man or zone. Well, Jordan Barnes left. Kobe Barnes jumps in. <laughs> one from St. Louis, one from Indiana. Indiana State by five. The Missouri Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Zervita. Prairie Farms, locally owned, locally produced since 1938. And by Mercy, your life is our life's work. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. When you're ready for your tomorrow to begin, start planning at DisneyWorld.com. I mean, we could have. Mm, mm. I know where you're going. Mm. No, we couldn't have. You're right. I was going to say, we could have got one and shared, nah, that but that's not that true. Work. Sonic Extra Long Ultimate Cheese Steaks. That, that wouldn't work. It's our turn to shake things up and make some noise. Our turn to spread our wings and chart a new course. It's our turn to build new bridges and go off the beaten path. Our turn to raise our voice and make some waves. 
It's our passion, our calling, our future. And now, it's our turn. Hey. When you're ready for your tomorrow to begin, start planning at DisneyWorld.com. Welcome back to our Halftime Report, a presentation of State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's time for today's profile, made possible by the Drury Plaza Hotel at the Arch. MVC correspondent Grant Pugh takes a look at Sycamore senior guard Tyreek Key. Tyreek Key is already one of the toughest Indiana State Sycamores of all time. The Tennessee native is now climbing his way through the Sycamore scoring book. Uh, Tyreek uh, is earning everything that he gets, there's no question. Um, uh, from the time recruiting him, going in, down there to Salina, the young man's got his name on the sign entering town. Uh, that's pretty cool to be in the top 10 uh, all-time scores here, and he's not done yet. Uh, just past Carl Nix and, and, and Coach Clee, two guys that have their jerseys up on the, up on the uh, rafters here. So he's just uh, never been up around a harder worker. Uh, just I want him to have fun and enjoy every minute of this last ride, and you're right. He's not one to talk about himself, and he doesn't even want to hear it. After a big weekend at Illinois State, Key is moving to the top 10 all-time in scoring for the Sycamores. Yeah, I mean, it's an honor, especially. Um, the United States got a rich tradition of basketball, so it's definitely an honor. But, you know, I'm still going to continue to get in the gym every day. I still work hard. But, you know, I just, me personally, I just don't think I've ever done. He's certainly not done leading the Sycamores down the home stretch of this NBC basketball season. And his impact has a lasting effect on another up-and-coming Sycamore standout. I mean, he's a great player. He's, he's real fun to play with. He's the best player I've ever played with. Um, you know, I speak very highly on him. Uh, he does a lot of great things for his team. You know, he works his butt off. He, he helps everyone in practice. He competes. He pushes everyone to get better. Uh, you know, he's just a great player all around, and he's really helping us to grow. And in a crazy, always changing schedule, you can bet Key will have a final say in the way the Sycamores play as we head towards March. It's definitely crazy, uh, but I mean, everybody's going through the same thing, so we can't really make any excuses. So, it's like I said, just, we got to get better every day and uh, prepare uh, to keep winning and uh, just come with a mindset to get better. Reporting for the Missouri Valley Conference, I'm Grant Pugh. Grant, thank you. Today's profile made possible by the Drury Plaza Hotel at the Arch, which reminds you to travel happy. We'll be back in Terre Haute right after this. <laughs> this has got the steak and the sizzle. The tots on this are just crispy and they're flavorful. This will um, keep you out of my tots. Sonic Extra Long Ultimate Cheese Steaks. Yeah, this might keep me out of your tots. Whether you're looking to connect with customers, find new ones, or sell more of your awesome stuff, Constant Contact has powerful email marketing tools and more to help you do more business online. Power on with Constant Contact. Try it free today. Welcome back to our Halftime Report, a presentation of State Farm Insurance. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Let's take a look at our first half stats, a production of the Candlewood Suites Terre Haute, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference in the Wabash Valley. Rebounds, the biggest category, that's for sure. We'll see how that's addressed in the second half. Call 812-234-3400 or visit candlewoodsuites.com slash Terre Haute to book your hotel rooms on your next trip to the Wabash Valley. Back to Terre Haute right after this. How is yours? Because you got the spicy cheesesteak. A little fire. A little fire. And desire. Oh, I don't know about all that. Sonic Extra Long Ultimate Cheesesteaks. You're taking it too far. I know it's date day and all. Sometimes you don't find your comfort zone. 
you create a new one. Regions can help with advice and tools to help you budget, save, and plan your financial future so you can brave a new beginning. is brought to you by State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Zervita. By Prairie Farms. Locally owned, locally produced since 1938. And by Mercy. Your life is our life's work. Back to work for Indiana State and Bradley here at the Holman Center in Terre Haute. The Sycamores and the Braves. A couple of teams with deep history facing each other. And certainly this Indiana State team hot right now, playing well. Bradley desperate, having lost its last four, needs a Valley win. And here we go with a five-point game, Bradley basketball. Childs going right at it, lost the hand. And a good bounce pass into Kingsby, missed it. And nothing on the other side in terms of a whistle, and Indiana State gets the ball. A terrific pass by Childs, but an even better block by Laravia. Wow. Turn over on help side. Thought about the three, instead goes in, no. The rebound, the miss, another attempt, and a foul as Williams kept at it in the post. Brian Ward not happy here in the first 37 seconds, already giving up two more offensive rebounds. 25-11 is the Indiana State lead on rebounds, and a foul called as Kingsby goes flying in. Second foul on Daniel Kingsby. And one of the things that Coach Ward talked about was in this stretch of games, there's not going to be a whole lot of practice going on. So you're watching film, you're going over scouting reports, you're doing walkthroughs, and you're not actually doing practice where you do box out drills and rebounding drills. It is shown here this afternoon. He's trying to get around Tom and Knighton and can't get the bounce as the shot clock expired. It's East with a great bounce pass and inside the mass for the land. I love when big guys run the floor and I love it even better when they're rewarded. Absolutely. Key now for Indiana State. Nice great pass inside of Laravia. Whoa. There's some terrific assisting going on right now. Both teams. Still a five point game. And the turnover. Really nice passing here for Indiana State. They have 10 assists and nine turnovers. We're going to see the look ahead. And, you know, you reward your post guy for running the floor. He'll run harder the next time. Mast. Looking like Pablo Nermi <laughs> running the floor. Arabia, nice dish by Nice. That was the second turnover for Bradley. He's turned it over. Now that three ball is drained by Key. And it's an eight point lead for Indiana State. Two minutes gone in the second half. Bradley trying to come up with some big scoring and can't on that shot by Childs, but they are able to get a reset. They're going to find Tom and Ina on the outside. Okay. You got to move the ball inside. Nice job by Childs going to the open spot against the man to man. Over two defenders, Childs scores. Six point lead for the Sycamores. Moravia finds Key again. Bradley with an array of guards to distribute the ball and Tom and I at the top of your screen. It's gonna run side to side and try to get an opening. If you can get him and Childs on the same side, you can't double team. There is Childs one-on-one. -on -one. 
This one coming. He's got, to, he's got to respect having an item. And he hits the shot. Whistle before the basket, though. Foul on the floor. They get Trey Williams, who is going one on one with Childs. And that's how smart and well coached these teams are. You put Kevin Ein and your best three-point shooter on the same side with Childs, and you saw a nice kind of jab at Childs, but he was afraid to go double-team him because he knows Childs kicks it out. Kevin Ein is deadly shooting the three. Just terrific recognition on the offensive end by Bradley. He takes the inbound from Tom and Ein and hands it back to him. Nolan, good catch by Henry. The foul is called inside. They're going to get Williams again. Trey Williams called for another foul. And that's number three. And, and Tom, I got to go back and correct myself. Pablo Dermy. I, I confused my countries there. He was a, a Finnish long distance runner. And I attached him to Mass, who obviously is from the Netherlands. So I don't want to upset all the people watching. Uh, Mass play who catch. are from the Netherlands by confusing my long distance run. It's a good catch. Laravia with a steal on Tom and Ina, who is from the Key. Cut off. Foul called, though. That one is on Nolan. They're going to. Got to get Nolan going, don't you? I mean, he hasn't scored. He's 0 for 2. He comes out of the game, and that is foul number three for him. Nolan, one of the better scorers on this team. Well, at times the ball has stuck in other perimeter guys' hands. Oh, gee, terrific. On the inbound pass, and he'll go to the free throw line, trying to expand this six-point lead for Indiana State. And, Tom, that is just an ad lib by Tyree Key and confidence that his teammate recognizes it because he's going to originally on that he's going to go set a screen but he sees his defensive man not ready to go gets his body into him draws the foul he's in the 1000 point club here at indiana state another chance for them julian larry let's watch the ball handling skills now Laravia. Miller, what a spin. Oh, and the block by Childs. Laravia tried to toss it up before the shot clock expired. That's a big stop for Brad. Big. It stopped the bleeding. Elijah Childs, when seniors make plays, you win games. Childs with six points, three rebounds, and another block there. He's been credited with two on the official stat sheet. He's two childs. Trying to find a hole in this defense as a scramble for it. I believe they'll get Bradley there. They do. As Key made that happen by scrambling for the ball, and Bradley commits the foul as a result. It's a 40-33 to 33 game. Hang on, lots of basketball to come. Hi, I'm a new customer, and I want your best new smartphone deal. Well, I'm an existing customer, and I'd like your best new smartphone deal. Oh, do you? Actually, it's for both new and existing customers. Oh, I feel silly. <laughs> But I do want the fastest 5G network. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same great deal. Like the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free when you trade in. SoFi literally changed my life. When I refinanced with SoFi, that allowed me to pay off aggressively and save without breaking my back or breaking the bank. <laughs> Back at Indiana State, Sycamore is in control for the moment, up by seven on Bradley. When the NBC TV network crew travels to campus, it considers these properties home. These hotels consistently support the conference and its 10 member institutions. Please call or visit the website to these properties when making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. 
Well, Indiana State coming out of the timeout, up by seven on Bradley. Some last-minute instruction being handed out. Cooper Nice. So far, so good. Seven points. Leading scorer, though, is Tyree Key with nine. Let's check that rebounding stat. 27-14 is the Indiana State advantage. Very quiet nine points for Tyree Key. Now a bunch of players rolling around with the basketball, and the last to touch it is Indiana State. It'll be Bradley Ball. We'll see what they can do with it. In some games so far, LaRavia coming out almost swiping that away. Henry, look out, drives in, and scores out the basket. He came crashing in on Nongo Now, who played two minutes in the first half, and he makes the play on Now. How important are strength coaches in college basketball? There's a perfect example of why they are important. The strength, the brute force for Henry to knock that down. Not able to convert, five point game. But a big play nonetheless. Bradley's lost four in a row. Indiana State's captured five of the last six. Two teams right in the middle of the pack. Nice flips it to Moravia. Shot clock winding down. And that one is going to be knocked out of bounds. Shot clock expired anyway. Did not hit the rim. And it's Bradley basketball. Greg Lansing wants to talk it over with the officials. But it is Bradley ball at the 1450 mark and a chance to cut into a five point lead. Jashawn Henry Z. He definitely helps him with his explosiveness. He just gives him another offensive threat. Steal by LaRavia. He can handle the rock too. LaRavia holds up. Three ball. Bang! How good did that feel? Nice. They come. Hot potato. Move the basketball. The basketball gods reward you. East misses on the other end. LaRavia grabs the board. Now yeah, this is a Somewhat of a dangerous time here for Bradley. Don't want to let this get away. Indiana State can find a little streak here and an extra step taken, but a foul before that as the Ravia was pushed. 2021 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship returns to Enterprise Center March 4th through the 7th in downtown St. Louis. Local seating capacity restrictions will apply for this year's event. For more information, be sure to download the Arch Madness app or visit archmadness.com for details. Get that app on the App Store, Google Play. Join us for Arch Madness. We'll toss it side to Nice. Really nice feed from LaRavia. And it's experienced players playing with each other. And a timeout call, and this is Indiana State's moment up by 10 and Z is we have a timeout on the floor and a timeout called by Bradley to try to stop the bleeding. Close the borders, keep your Indiana players home. Laravia, Denise. I feel like I would go with the signature strawberry limeade, add in cranberry. It'll give you that kick like right there in the back. Sonic Ultimate Drink Stop. This muscle right here. It might be a little tart for me. Indiana State leads Bradley by 10. At home, Holman Center, and an opportunity for Indiana State to advance in the standings. Missouri Valley Conference score, schedule, presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance Trust. And tomorrow, talk to a Grinnell Mutual agent today. Wow, Drake hangs on. Remains undefeated. 7-0 in the conference now, beating Illinois State by 2-0 in OT. And there are no gimmies in this league. And what's even more surprising about that score, it was in the Knapp Center. 
in Des Moines. It wasn't like they were on the road. So they escape in overtime. Yesifu with some big baskets in the overtime for Drake holding off Illinois State. Loyola went up 20 to two at Missouri State and won the game by 26. They are on a mission in Chicago. That they are. Top nine in as Bradley's on a mission to try to get back in this game. Down by 10 now. East trying to get it inside to Childs, and it's taken away. Laravia is just a thief today. And just That's no third angle. steal. No angle, Tom, on that. Nice play by Laravia. Barnes finds the cutting Laravia, the kick out. And now a foul. He's bumped on the way in. Oh, no. It's going to go back the other way. Uh, they called him for stepping on the foul. He did. He put, it on, he put it on the baseline. I think he got bumped. But anyway, Laravia just a terrific pass out of the post. I'm not sure how he saw him in the corner. I thought Miller was going to just take the three. 45-35. Each one of these trips precious for the Bradley Braves. Three ball. Too far for Kent. Bradley three of 11 from three today. Waiting, firing, and missing is Barnes, but Indiana State comes up with the rebound. Boy, have they been tough on the glass. Laravia is surrounded by three red jerseys, but nobody boxes him out. Wow. Laravia against Childs. Spins. And that one is up in the air. The foul is called. 32-14 on the rebounds for Indiana State. They have just been the, the more aggressive offensive rebounding team in the are quicker the ball. We saw Barnes in the first half. Laravia with a couple right now. Near the 12 minute mark. And up by double figures. And Jake Laravia at the free throw line. He has five points, but he has been all over the ball today. Eight rebounds, two assists, three steals, blocked a shot. And now at the free throw line. Hasn't been able to connect there, though. Just one for four. And Indiana State actually shooting just five of 12 from the strike today. One of the things that has kept Bradley in this game. Big play inside. Mass gets it to go down. Bradley kind of hanging around now after those misses. And the miss there by Nice. Here's that opening for the Braves. Little shot from the free throw line connected by Kent. The freshman makes a big bucket. It's a six point contest. And a timeout called by Greg Lansing with 11.44 on the clock, 45.39. The momentum is swinging in Bradley's direction. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love you. We're all, 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 all together now. All together now. All together now. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow When you're ready for your tomorrow to begin, start planning at DisneyWorld.com. Back at Indiana State, Sycamore's lead Bradley 45-39. Bradley has held Indiana State scoreless for the last two minutes plus on a little 4-0 run after being down by 10. 11.44 to go in the ball game. Take a look at our State Farm NBC Scholar Athlete of the Game, Indiana State's Trey Williams, sophomore center from 
Reynoldsburg, Ohio, right outside of Columbus. Williams averaging 8.9 points per game, 6.4 rebounds per game, and a 3.83 cumulative GPA in business management. When you want the real deal like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There's Trey. Williams right now with a point six rebounds, though, part of a 32-16 rebound advantage over Bradley. That is some margin. No one's had a 20-plus board margin against Bradley since 2017 when San Diego State did it. Whistle underneath. And the foul called on Mast for Bradley. San Diego State, I could understand. They, they that was three very, on that team. That was a very good team back in 17. And if Indiana State is going to hold on to this lead, they're going to have to make some free throws. Yeah, just 5 of 12 from the line today. The Ravia is 1 of 4. And that's the issue right now. And the Ravia is a 78% free throw shooter coming into this game, so it's a little bit uh, of an aberration thus far for him. The Indianapolis native misses that one. Well, really struggling. It's in his head right now. 45-39. Here's a drive and score. And Tabanidin's having himself a game. Vila Tabanidin now with 15 points. He's taking what the defense is giving him. Take away the three. He'll put it on the floor. Four-point game inside. Kobe Barnes had that swatted away. Foul call first. Let's look at Vila. He has been moving to the basket, Z. Now the sophomore adding another facet to his game. Not only a three-point shooter, but able to put it on the floor. See how he read? Nice was jumping over the top of that screen because he didn't want to give him an open three. That's good recognition by Tamadine. Strong 6'4", sophomore guard from Finland. Vile Tabanainen. These free throws now. My gosh. So 6 of 16 from the strike. It's a 5-point Indiana State lead. Three ball. No. That one was missed by Kent. And now Indiana State with a chance to increase the lead. It's going to be a battle, though, here in this last 10 minutes. You can guarantee that Bradley will bring it. Which team will be the last one standing here this afternoon? Moravia back to Key. Henry on Key. Key gets around him. Moravia tried to pull down an offensive board, and it was tapped out of bounds by Bradley. Boy, it's got to be frustrating if you're Bradley. I mean, he's just all over the place. Just an outstanding job. Moravia just... Yep. No confidence in his jump shot right now. He turns down a wide open three, and they end up with a shot clock violation. Yes, they do, as that goes back to Bradley. And the Braves now. Olivia comes out to try to double team. Five-point game. Bradley with a chance here. Top of nine, it's been hot. Nice on him. Picks up his dribble. Arabia there. Fight for it. Nice back to the Arabia. He looks ahead to Key, and a miss, and back to Bradley. I'm not sure there was not a foul. Look out, the Henry puts it in to Sean Henry. And Bradley slices the lead down to three with under ten. Here come the Braves, back-to-back -back Arch Madness champions. They're waking up in Peoria. That three is missed. Key comes up empty. For the tie. No, and a rebound for Key. Key looks a little tired. They're looking for a, a whistle here. Give it nine get, minutes. Maybe get Moravia in a post up situation. Great advantage, disadvantage if they double. 
Foul called on Henry as Key was driving in. He goes down on the right block. 46-43, 901 to go. Well, how hard is it to do it three times in a row? It's tough, I'll tell you that. Look at these teams right here. Win it back to backs and then lose quarters most of the time. There are some good teams there. The UNI squads under Ben Jacobson and Creighton. Not able to do it under Dana Altman. But Southern Illinois, the only team in Bradley trying to make it two teams. There's a free throw made by Key to get it back to five. Key with some big free throws. Tyree Key and the Indiana State Sycamores by five. Childs goes in tough. Big bucket, Elijah Childs. Great recognition by Nolan, not forcing it. Giving it to Childs with his defensive man running at him. They've kept him pretty quiet. That's eight now for Childs. Nice with a fake. The pass off to Laravia. They get it back out. Closing in on the eight minute mark. Key to Nice, three. And fighting for it, trying to save it from going out of bounds. And just couldn't get it done, Trey Williams. Let's look at Elijah Childs. This is a basket that he absolutely needed. You go to your senior. When you need a play to be made, Childs absorbs the contact from Williams. Watch, Williams is going to help, absorbs the contact, gathers himself like a senior with experience would do. A strong finish. I go right back to him. He sets a screen for Nolan. Nolan's still with it. There's a three-point attempt by Kent, and ball bounce in. And foul underneath. This has been some battle. 48-45, Indiana State on top. Hang on. We're under eight minutes. I mean, we could have. Mm, mm. I know where you're going. Mm. No, we couldn't have. You're right. I was going to say, we could have got one and shared, nah, that but that's that not true. Gonna work. Sonic Extra Long Ultimate Cheese Steaks. That, that wouldn't work. Hi, I'm a new customer and I want your best new smartphone deal. Well, I'm an existing customer and I'd like your best new smartphone deal. Do you? Actually, it's for both new and existing customers. Oh, I feel silly. <laughs> but I do want the fastest 5G network. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same great deal, like the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free when you trade in. Well, Bradley hasn't led in this game since it was 17-15 Braves in the first half. They are closing in on Indiana State. Once up by 10, it is down to three points, 48-45. Holman Center, Terre Haute, Indiana is where we are. Our next NBC TV Network production, a presentation of Live by Lowe's St. Louis, will be Saturday, February 6th, as Bradley hosts Southern Illinois. Coverage begins at 3 o'clock Central. Want to experience laid-back luxury in the heart of downtown St. Louis, adjacent to Ballpark Village? Live by Lowe's Hotels.com slash Live by Lowe's St. Louis, Missouri. To book your hotel room today. Brian Wardle and the Braves trying to knock off Indiana State at home. It's a rarity. Sycamores have won 10 of the last 11 in this series here at Baldwin Center. Bradley's last win since 2008 came in 2018. And a whistle stops play. 48-45, Indiana State. And the foul called on Miller. They were running a stagger screen for Kevin Einan. That's the 15th foul on Indiana State. Here at this 750 mark. 
Bradley's committed nine fouls. Good drive, but Nolan comes up empty and back the other way. It's going to go for Indiana State. Been a tough day for Nolan, no points for him. You clear out his side, usually he's automatic on the drive. And now a foul is called as he got Dex taken to the floor. And they get Nolan with that one. Again, tough afternoon. On one hand, I would think for Indiana State, you're in the double bonus right now. That would be a good thing. If there's 7 of 17 from the free throw line, at that 7 of 18. So the miss there, and for Nolan, that's four fouls. For Indiana State, Trey Williams has four fouls. Three apiece for Kingsby and Mast on the Bradley side. No one else in any real foul trouble for Indiana State. There's a make by Tyree Key. Yeah, we talk about the free throw shooting, Tom. This is a team that shoots 76% from the foul line. They've struggled here this afternoon, and it's become contagious. Indiana State shooting just 26% in the second half. And look at this thunder. That's what he can do. Deshaun Henry, and it's a two-point game. That's the Henry that the Braves fans love to see. Absolutely. Now he's defending LaRavia. And Jake on the other end is able to get to the foul line. Let's watch Deshaun do his thing. He turns the corner. The key is a little bit late. There's no help side. And Henry's going to find the gap. He's so strong when he gets to the rim. He wasn't going to allow anybody to come over and block that shot either. Moravia connects. Got a lot of hoops here. 7.04 to go. And Indiana State trying to hold off this desperate Bradley team. There's a couple of free throw makes for Indiana State. That'll make them feel a little bit better. 51-47. So disciplined offense for both teams here in the last seven minutes. No bad shots. Try and create easy shot opportunities. There's one. Drive and bucket. Left-handed this time by Tom and Ida. Vile, Tavadainen, it's 51-49. If I was still coaching, I would be looking at my assistant right now and say, hey, why did you say he's only a three-point shooter? He is driven to the basket, and now he shows the use of the left hand. 17 points for Tavadainen. Told you, get your popcorn. This is going to be a tight game. Lock falls on the shoulders of the freshman Larry at the point to orchestrate this offense. Larry has it. The shot clock winding down. Three. Missed by Miller. Rebound Mast. Bradley can tie it or take the lead. Watch out for this man, Tom Anaiden. Draws three defenders. Mast for three. High rebound, and LaRavia comes up with it for Indiana State. Under six minutes. Little shot from the free throw, no good. And Mass with the rebound. Another chance for Bradley. Again, haven't had the lead since it was 17-15. There's a steal. It's Larry. Playing good for Julian Larry. And the freshman read that one beautifully. Jump in the passing lane. Kingsby for Bradley. Top of nine and over to Henry. Key guarding him. Laravia comes out to disrupt. Try to go to Childs, away from the basket though. Open, no. Henry inside, Mast. And a foul is called as Mast made the move on that left block. When you're struggling offensively, 
It is so important when you can turn defense into offense. Larry jumps the passing lane, knocks it down. The young man from Frisco, Texas. Big play. He has taken the keys of this point guard position. And he started early in the season, too, had his opportunities. He's gaining confidence seemingly with every trip down the floor. Free throws made. It's a two-point game again. Now five minutes to go. Key to Miller. Top and iron it on him. Miller tries to test him. Indiana State working that clock. Contested three goes down for Jake Laravia. Holy cow. Bradley back the other way. Got to find some control. Kingsby picks up his dribble. And now a timeout is called by Bradley with 4.27 to go in a 56-51 ball game. And that's a difference from a year ago. Inexperienced guards, Wardle's got to take that timeout because he's watching Laravia, the step back. Three. Oh my. All you got to do is you, this your drink, and your taste buds. Sounds like happiness. So many feels. All the feels. You do the shimmy when it meets expectations, and the head nod is I'm perfectly satisfied. Sonic Ultimate Drink Stop. Hi, I'm a new customer, and I want your best new smartphone deal. Well, I'm an existing customer, and I'd like your best new smartphone deal. Oh, do you? Actually, it's for both new and existing customers. Oh, I feel silly. <laughs> but I do want the fastest 5G network. Oh, I want the fastest 5G network. Are we actually doing this again? It's not complicated. Only AT&T gives everyone the same great deal, like the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free when you trade in. Indiana State, 5-5 five and five in the conference, looking for its sixth Valley win. Bradley, having lost four straight games, 3-5 and five in the Valley, needs a win here today. And you see the score, 56-51 in favor of the Sycamores. This is Jake LaRavia, who just hit a ridiculous step-back three with a hand in his face. Hallman Center, Terre Haute, Indiana. LaRavia checking in now with 10 points with that one three-point attempt that went down, but three of eight from the line and just 50% shooting from the free-throw line for Indiana State has handled the Sycamores, but still up by five. And the question is, can Indiana State continue to play stingy defense, having only given up 51? Their magic number historically under... Greg Lansing has been 63, so keep an eye on that number. We'll throw one out for Ryan Wardle as well. This year, when they score 65 or more, they're 82. One in six, but they don't score 65. Next, with a thunderous jam inside. Now, it just shows you how close this game is. Larry almost had a huge steal on that previous possession. It went out of bounds, went to Bradley, and they set up a play, and Mass throws it down. Three-point game. That's terrific execution. This three by Miller. Childs with a rebound. It's a good look out of the post feed from Laravia. He's got five inches on Kobe Barnes. Go to work. He does. Left side scores on Barnes. Mast with another bucket. He had the first of the game, and he has this one with 3.20 to go. We have a one-point game in Terre Haute. Bradley was down 45-35. Miller. Larry, boy, he's still calling it already. Yeah, good help by Mast. <laughs> oh, and he can't get it with the shot clock expiring. Fourth shot clock violation thus far. Bradley, terrific defense. 
Will they be rewarded with their first lead since the first half? Yes, they will. Deshaun Henry scores. Bradley takes the lead with two and a half to go. And a timeout called by Greg Lansing. First time Bradley's led since. They were up 17-15. How have the Braves done it with patience on offense? Now, first you go overseas and throw it inside to Mast. And he has that size advantage, judicious use of the left hand in the post. And then let's go back to America. Oh, I should say North America. As Henry from Saskatchewan puts Bradley up by one. Just an outstanding job of battling back for this Bradley ball club. But inexperienced in the backcourt. They are really doing an outstanding job of doing the little things. Getting the ball into open side so that Henry can drive and taking advantage of mismatches in the post. They're outscoring Indiana State 34-20 in the paint. Yeah, this is interesting. They're 0 for 7, Bradley is, from 3 here in the second half, yet they're shooting 59% in the half. 13 of 22. Big moment here for Indiana State, here in the two-minute mark. One-point lead, Bradley on top. Larry. The drive, Miller, no. And a foul is called on that attempt by Williams. I like the aggressiveness by Miller. He had missed his last couple of threes instead of settling for it. He saw the driving lane, able to get it up on the rim, and because of rotation, they get an offensive rebound. Trey Williams is the line. Trey Williams. Big free throw. Tie the game, 2.06 to go. He had a couple of big plays at the end of that Southern Illinois game. Not the most recent one, but the one prior where he had a tip out at the end of the game with under two minutes. And then he makes a big three that really sealed the game for Indiana State. He's playing with four fouls. Trey Williams, one of two from the line. He has two points on the day to go along with six rebounds. And we have a tie game with under two minutes. They have left a lot of points on the tables the Sycamore have by missing free throws. Henry Kingsby cut off. Falls throws it off of the leg of the defender, Larry, and it stays to Bradley. They rush over to help him up. Watch the rotation by Trey Williams. He comes over, Kingsby says, hey, I got nowhere to go. Tries to stop and lucky play to maintain possession. Shot clock at five. Tom and I had lost it. Mast lost it as well. It's Indiana State ball with a minute 36 to go. Tie game. Both teams playing terrific team defense. Nowhere to go for Bradley on that possession. Where will this game go in the 94th meeting between Indiana State and Bradley? Coach Lansing goes with Baco. A little more experience, but more importantly, a guy who's knocked down a couple of threes already today. He gets it to Williams, now to LaRavia. Miller to Baco. It's key at the bottom of the screen. Baco to LaRavia. And it goes down for Jake LaRavia. Talk about a tough angle, Tom. Under a minute. Kingsby looking at Childs. They go to Mast. Now Tom Anaiden who's had the hot hand. Childs tried to keep it alive, but Indiana State has it.
Greg Lance, you watch it in his seniors' hands. Tyreek Key made so many plays like this over the last three years. King's been guarding him. Key. That one won't go. Rebound. Childs for Bradley. Down two. 18 seconds. Timeout call. Brian Wardle. Who do you dial this up for? Well, let's do our players of the game presentation to State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I got to think Tom and Ida, who didn't play in this game last year due to illness. Here's Vile with 17 points. He's been hot. On the other side, Jake LaRavia has had another solid game for Indiana State. Well, Tom and Ida kept them close within striking distance. LaRavia doing it all. A little bit of everything. Rebounded steals, assisting. And as you look at this possession, if you're Indiana State, Greg Lansing, you're telling your guys, all right, number one, you don't give anybody a three. Switch all screens. Make sure Tavanina doesn't get an open look. And if you're Brian Wardle and Brad, you got a guy like Terry Nolan who is, has not had a very good day, but hit some big shots and some big non-conference wins. So we'll see what happens there. But if I'm Brian Wardle, you got Henry, who's very good at putting the ball on the floor, drawing the foul. Elijah Child strong inside. You don't want to settle for a jump shot because in a situation like this, Indiana State doesn't want to foul. So if you go to the rim, you may get an easy one. And if you're Indiana State, the last thing coming out of that huddle, you're telling your guys is, listen, when the shot goes up, you find the red jersey because it's that second shot that beats you more often than the first one. Talk about a game of inches. It is, look at this. Look how close this is. I tell you, if Mass doesn't block that, I don't think it goes in. If he doesn't get a finger on that, I don't think it goes in. Here we go. Childs gets the call. Draws a double team. Can't find Mast inside. Kingsby the drive. No. Scramble. Henry. No. Rebound. Fighting for it. Childs. Foul is called. Indiana State with 1.9 on the clock has the basketball and will shoot two. You can see the drive. They don't want to foul. He gets a pretty good open lane, and then Key comes over and closes it. Henry, that second shot just doesn't drop. And it's the freshman, Larry, the little guy, sticks his nose in there. Texas toughness. That's the aggressiveness they were asking for. The freshman makes it a three-point game. Now a chance to walk away with a victory. Julian Larry. Tom and Ida touched it, has to throw it, and that's it. Indiana State survives, gets the win, holds off Bradley. 60 to 57 inside the Holman Center. Another tough, excruciating loss for Bradley. A chance and a loss, their fifth in a row. Greg Lansing walks away with a W at home. And if you thought this was going to be a blowout, you got to remember this is the Missouri Valley Conference. Nobody quits. Bradley down all game long. They battle back. They have. You've got big plans for your.